Hi folks, Matt Aguilar here from comicbook.com and I'm here to break down everything you need to know about the next NXT TakeOver in your house. There's a lot of championship matches in store, but that's not all that we've got on the plate, so let's run through it. In Your House was a pay-per-view format utilized by WWE in the 1990s, and the newest version will hit WWE Network on June 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Starting off with the non-championship matches, the Prince Finn Balor will seek his revenge on Damian Priest, who has attacked Balor with his fist and a nightstick several times throughout the past few weeks. This is likely a blow-off match for this feud, but it depends on the finish. If there's a funky one, we could see this going another round. But if Walter intervenes, which is kind of what everyone's hoping for, then Balor's likely heading into that feud next. A feud that has just started is the one between Tommaso Ciampa and Karrion Cross, and they'll have their first opportunity to go head-to-head -head in the ring this Sunday, though we expect this to be the first of several lockups between the two. We cannot wait to see what Cross and Scarlett will do with their already epic entrance at TakeOver, and this could be the start of a fantastic rivalry. Speaking of great rivalries in the making, the first of three championship matches will be between North American champion Keith Lee, Baskin is glory, and Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. The rivalry between Gargano, Candice LeRae, Lee, and Mia Yim has been quite entertaining so far, and there's a slight chance this becomes a mixed tag match before all is said and done. Even if it doesn't, the skill of Gargano and Lee in the ring and their contrasting style should make for a stellar throwdown. After that, we have a match of the night contender in the NXT Women's Championship Triple Threat match featuring champions Charlotte Flair, Rhea Ripley, and Io Shirai. The last few weeks have seen a lot of starts and stops in this feud. It kind of seems like it's constantly being interrupted or someone's throwing someone out of the ring or someone's hurt, yada yada. This should and hopefully will end with TakeOver in your house as it's time to get the belt off of Charlotte Flair back on the Rhea Ripley or give it to Io Shirai. I think it'll be better for NXT and Charlotte Flair both. And if we're left with the status quo, it's gonna be a little disappointing. The last official match on the card is the final match between Adam Cole and Velveteen Dream for the NXT Championship. The two have linked up quite a few times, and if Dream loses this match, he cannot challenge for the championship again as long as Cole has the belt. Cole recently celebrated 365 days as champion, so it would seem like the perfect time to him to move on, let Dream have his time in the spotlight, and then Cole maybe move to Raw or SmackDown or just another feud in NXT. Gets you thinking, right? Now, there's still a week left before the big event, and with how recent matches and storylines have gone, I would bet there would be one more match added to the card before all is said and done. If I had to bet, I would say that would be Tegan Knox and Shotzi Blackheart versus Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai. They have been feuding kind of back and forth and they've played up one helping the other. And as long as Shotzi is okay after that nasty spill the other night, I think this could be one that ends up rounding out the rest of the event. If it does, awesome. Even if it doesn't, it's a pretty stag card anyway. So that's what's on the menu for NXT TakeOver in your house. And make sure to keep up with all the coverage as it happens right here on comicbook.com. And remember, we are NXT!